Are you a contender for the Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister's top job? <laughs> Hand on your heart. Uh, Navika has, in the 23 odd years that I have known her, has repeatedly asked me this question, and I don't know when I'm going to be able to satisfy her. You can't because uh, you, left, you left a certain party uh, to join the BJP uh, because last time around they didn't keep up their promises to Not you. at all. I, I'm so uh, surprised and shocked oh to, my God. I, to, hear, to hear you make that statement. Let me be very clear, Navika. Uh, you've known my father. I don't know whether you, you knew my grandmother or not. But whether it's my grandmother, my father, and I have the same blood, this is not a family that has ever, ever in its history been after post opposition. Ever. My father, when that airplane crash happened, he was the first person to go in and resign. When the Madhya Pradesh results came out, and we had a conversation, we had a discussion, and the choice was made that Navika is going to become the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh. I said, absolutely, and I will support her completely. And I immediately went and made an announcement. My move from the Congress was not because of post, was not because of position. My move from the Congress was because the Congress party did not keep my self-respect. When I was humiliated and insulted by the chief minister in his chair, and I only asked for my self-respect, I did not ask for a position, I did not ask for a post, and I certainly didn't ask for this. But one thing I will not compromise with in my life, and that is with my self-respect. And I think that is the most important tenant for anyone sitting in this room. Absolutely. And so to answer your question, my race and my thirst is not for a chair. My life is about service. My life is not about politics. My pursuit is not politics. My pursuit is make, to make sure that Jan Seva is done. My father used to say a line, Navika, and it never made sense to me till he passed away. He said, Jindagi mein kabhi bhi laksh rajniti nahi honi chahiye. Laksh jan seva honi chahiye. Aur rajniti keval ek madhyam honi chahiye us laksh ki poorti karne ke liye usse jada nahi. That's the spirit with which I carry on my life. So no, my, my race is not for a post. My race is not for a position. Yes, but I am ambitious. And there's nothing wrong with being ambitious. I'm ambitious for peop my people. I'm ambitious for development. I'm ambitious for progress. So my thirst is for what projects can I take to my region? How can I change the lives of people? If I'm being given a responsibility, and the responsibility I've been given today by the Prime Minister of our country for civil aviation, what can I do to make sure that this area transforms itself in the period that I'm in command? That's the religiousness with which I work. Last, considering uh, you've spoken from the heart, I want to ask you, how different is it in this government than it was in the earlier government where you were a part of that government as well. And uh, 2024, how, how do you see, you know, with the recent victory in Karnataka, the opposition seems to think that it's a done deal and they're back in the game for 2024. How do you see politics uh, shaping up over the next few months? Your first part of the question was what? 2024, you've worked on both sides uh, ah, with both it's, governments. It's, uh, let me say it's, uh, it's a completely different transformation. If you ask me the, the one thing that is completely and starkingly different, or let me say two things. One, meritocracy. Two, result-driven organization. And so... Uh, my experience prior to politics was, like you, I was in the private sector. Uh, I was a banker for six and a half years. Um, and the adherence to timelines, the ad adherence to delivery, the adherence to making sure that execution according to a certain plan is in place, that's what I had been trained for in those six, six years. And uh, I've had the, the good fortune and the privilege to work under a prime minister that is completely and totally focused on timelines and making sure things get done in, in the specific period that's been announced. One of the constant refrains that when we discuss, discuss about 
ideas and, and new ways of doing things, is that we have, and successive governments before us, have put in place enough policies. What we need to concentrate on is 100% saturation of every single policy that we have brought out. Until every single human being in this country gets the benefit of that scheme, we've got to keep at it. And that's the, the ferocity with, with, with which every person in this government under the PM's leadership is working. As far as election results are concerned and the recent result in Karnataka, I mean, every state will goes through its crests and its troughs for every single political party. Uh, the Congress has won in Karnataka. I wish them the very best. I hope they deliver on their promises. But let me say this, that the Bharati Janta Party is extremely committed to its resolve of making sure that we transform India. We transform India to, for each and every one of 140 crore people across the length and breadth of this country. And our ambition is to ensure that India today, which was at number 11 in terms of economic growth across the world in 2014, today it's at number five. By 2030, our target is it should be at number three. And before our journey is completed between Amrit Kal and Shatabdi Kal, India must be at number one in the world.